morning, guys. So, as per your delicious breakfast, whether it be summer, spring, winter, or fall, oats are good any time, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, or snack as well. Can be had different ways, especially snack and breakfast. But for today, what we're going to have is some large flake oats and some frozen blueberries. Then I am going to put one bit of. Oh no, wait. Oopsie, wrong order. Then let's put some yogurt. I got some yogurt on special. 50% off. Oh! Now, these, these are great because you can make smoothies. And make different things with it. It's similar to those uh, drinks the little babies drink, actually. They suck the yogurt out of the tube. <gasps> Okay, okay. So we got that. So that's gonna get the blueberries nice along with the oats. Start popping out of it. Then, then we're going to have some apple on top. So this is an apple that I harvested out of a yard, an adjacent yard in the neighborhood. So instead of it falling to the ground and going to waste, they didn't seem to be making full use of it, which is fine. Helped me out by taking the odd apple in with the different foods that I'm making. The tartness, now see, that's the kind of stuff you have to watch out for, the difference in the apples off the tree here in Canada anyway uh, as opposed into a vineyard I guess no I shouldn't say Canada but off of a just a regular tree so I'm just gonna roughly cut this uh, in sort of tiny small pieces bite sized pieces enough making sure to work around that knotty spot though you know in the end if you were to be making um something you know an apple cider or whatever things like that that require you just to have the fruit this is something that is going to be cut out still but a tiny bit of it's not going to hurt so there you go, what's that, like so. Now the contrast of the apple, this is kind of a crab apple, I believe. It's not a sweet apple. Uh, the contrast of this taste of the apple, whoops, I forgot to turn light on. Of course, distracted. So you're going to have the large flake oats, some blueberries, some nice delicious fruit yogurt of whatever type you like, some nice apple, put that granola on top, oh girlfriend, then just to make it nice, we are going to put a tiny bit of Um, dry, I meant well, yeah, it's dry. Um, have a tiny bit of pumpkin seeds. Oh, that was a pumpkin seeds and um, shaved almonds, toasted pumpkin seeds. Oh, which one did I put in here? I put some sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. That's all I got. The rest of the stuff I did not put in that are in here. Then you're gonna put a couple of craisins. 
dried fruit and it makes such a nice pop of flavor. So they kind of may be stuck together. So I like to make sure they're unstuck. <laughs> Not too many because it, I don't like too many personal things. You can put as many as you want, quite frankly. Because I, frankly, do give a damn that it makes it taste good. I was thinking of making some raisin, raisin cookies, oat cookies later. But oh, we'll see. And then finally, La pièce de résistance, since it's strawberry, I had some frozen, a couple of little frozen strawberries. So that were uh, left in the end of the bag of um, frozen fruit that I have. So we'll have last uh, but not least one prune. Yum, yum, yum. Just to make it go down nice. I think I'm rationing these prunes out because they're so tasty. I want to have one a day. Oops. Until my next grocery shopping and I may put that on the lip. Otherwise, we don't need too much. So, this is what's for breakfast today. Make sure you too get your variety of oats, fruits, yogurt daily so that it helps us scour, clean, and put delicious nutrition, nutritious food in your body. Click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos of me being silly, sometimes being informative, such as teaching you how to have great healthy meals. And we don't want to talk about why other than it tastes good. So moderation in the quantity. Make sure that you're getting quality. Talk to you in the next video.